Well, welcome back again to Way of the Samurai 2. I know I said I, eh, I know I said that I would start over on normal, but after a couple days thought, grinding through once more on easy, and getting more stuff, and actually surviving, just might be the right move to make. So, oh, I don't want to change name. Okay, we'll just be wicked. No magic, just wicked. We'll go for the wild man. Oh yeah. Why are there Zatos in my safe? There should never be Zatos in my safe. I made a mistake somewhere. Oh, I have to pick one. Figured it would give me the generic sword again if I didn't. It's been so long. I think that was my starting sword. Right, it's only got one durability. That's no good. Okay. We got a green sword and it wasn't doing bad. It's not the best, but whatever. And we've already been through the plot, so I can go through a whole lot of, <laughs> of me skipping cutscenes and dialogue and, and everything else in between. It is the late Edo period. That's all you need to know. Mashing too hard. Not all can be skipped. Just the text. Um, if I'm just about making money, I don't want to try to actually help the kid this time around. Get out of here! on him again just like oh, whatever we're, we're leaving you do that and I'm broke so you go talk to the guy and if I have to waste a thousand monies on trying to teach the little girl to read, I can buy a whole bunch of sword upgrades or health items or whatever, but let's still stick with the time-honored tradition of randomly kicking and dueling Yakuza. Smashing parry too hard, and of course it's his auto. I don't need no permission. Hey, you have not as I do. No amount of police can stop my love of kicking boxes for money. But I'm out. You're not arresting me today. Oh man, speaking of being arrested, 
my computer can't take away the Samurai 4 without major lag issues, but if I can get Jake to want to play it, there's some weird stuff going on when you get arrested in that one. Weird bondage mini games. Instead of serving your time and paying the fine, you're also given the option to be punished. And yeah, it gets it gets strange. Like let it die, strange. I'm disappointed. Oh no. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody's talking about me. We're in Japan. That superstition stands, right? Oh. I already know the deal, dude. Give me a person to talk to or a baby to kick. I need some money. Alright. Easy money. Some awkward move I can't do without actually having an opponent to lock on to. Just got unlocked. Hooray. Hopefully since I came here twice, it doesn't screw me over on available time to do the mission. Uh, yeah, I haven't been stuffy since I woke up hours ago. That sneeze came out of nowhere. And now I feel stuffy. Is she here? No. Back by the cat shrine then. No. Giant holy cat makes me run slow. <laughs> Just when you touch it, period, it goes off. I figured it had to be struck. Oh, please don't tell me this girl is somewhere else. And that I assume since this one she was in this part of town or way there, okay. I forgot sometimes she spawns in that corner. I think I looked right at her when I came in and went, ah, that's not her. No. He's not so bad. Oh, he's not so bad. Just go home. Hooray! Money! Because then once I have a bunch of money, I can buy a bunch of food items, then I could just leave town, and then start over again on normal, with things to actually heal myself when I get my ass kicked. Yeah! Or use the bunch of money I gain now to upgrade some swords, so I have a much better chance when I play on normal or buy some items to make my health bar bigger, or many things. Point being, pad your wallet for progress. Why'd you stop? Why'd you stop? Best way to learn moves on your weapon, using your weapon. Money. Mm, double thug. Huh. Made him 
were scared of the police. And then he put his sword away and got kicked in the back anyway. I hope that sword I picked up was not a Zato. Uh, they're always so horrible. Like, ah, unless it had, like, single digit points in one stat and 50 plus, um, I was about to say 50 plus, but it'd be negative. Minus 50 or less points into the other stat, I've never seen a Zato with positive numbers. Unless it's, you know, one that's so crippled, like it's negative 60 defense and it breaks the moment it gets hit by you blocking. They're always bad. <laughs> Nick, if you're watching, there you go. The damn noise. Oh, I did it again. I keep trying to hit the menu buttons from a different game. Oh, wrong sword. Thank you, game. I don't want to drop the good one. We were talking about that, damn it, in Japanese. Grumble noise. Find the baby. Freedom stolen. I'm not sure about that one, actually. <laughs> I would assume the Yakuza, because that just makes sense. If anything's stolen, it's the criminals. Ah, uh, yeah, damn it. Plotline cutscene I don't care about. I don't want to go talk to Boss Man Weird Face. Other than to kill him later on and grab his giant sword. He has a massive katana. And he has in the sheath style. They call it fencing? Yeah. So it's kind of funny seeing you sometimes put that giant sword back into the scabbard because it, it, you put it in sideways and it's so big. I don't think you'd be able to draw it normally. Blah, 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 blah. Why does he have a painting of himself with a rose in his mouth? No. Oh. I'm not doing your scuzzy things. Of course! Thanks, Yakuza. I lost another baby and the townsfolk don't like me again and I might have to just slaughter all the criminals and the police simultaneous again just to make them like me again. I forgot to avoid any areas where there's cutscenes on day one. Cool. Oh, Sabuji. Damn it, Sabuji! This lazy ass not working at all hours of the day. <laughs> Get to <laughs> um, yeah, 
there's two spots for Sabuji over here, but only one on the other side. So I'm checking this side first. Oh, just the crazy monk that wants to be beaten up. Until you've depleted his mystic energies. And Sabuji. Be careful not to kick Sabuji, or he'll run away. Let me fail the mission. No, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Whatever. You're right into me! Say you're sorry! Thought that was a stereotype. You bumped into me, why didn't you apologize? What are you gonna do to make it up to me? Wait, I'm not the Yakuza. These tropes don't apply to me. Yeah! <laughs> I kill the Yakuza. I just shank them in their chest when they get when I bump into them and they say, What am I going to do to make it up to them? <laughs> Thusly, wrong button. Yeah, that's right. I kicked you in your head, and then he kicked me in my foot. That was strange. I could have sworn there was a throw with the box button. I'm making good money off of just crap in crates. Woo. Well, that's a good run of the first day. I got what? 460 some monies. Not bad. And I think it is now tomorrow. Yep. Well, join me tomorrow for more grinding of monies.